We hear a lot of noise about what people these days call culture wars, the issues of race, of uh, religion, religion and religious fundamentalism and all of that, and um, this relatively new word, which other surveys recently here suggest nobody really, or most people don't really know what it means, wokeism. What, what, are we following America in our obsession with that, or is it something that's not going to matter to us? I think it's going to matter deeply. It doesn't matter right now, but it's coming. There are many ways that America follows the UK. Uh, your vote for Brexit was an indication of a hidden vote that, that Donald Trump took advantage of. Your vote for Margaret Thatcher back 40 years ago was the leading indicator for Ronald Reagan. And there are times when America is ahead of you, such as Bill Clinton to Tony Blair. And right now, wokeism, cancel culture, uh, uh, the, the language is mean and harsh, and the outcome will be negative. As, as you've got right up there, the conservatives are deeply afraid of wokeism. Labor is more afraid of racism. Even though one third of your country does not know what wokeism is, it's still the number three concern, <laughs> the number three ism. And here's why. They know that it's divisive. They know that it's polarizing. They know that it's not being put forward to have a better a more unified country, which is what the CPS study is all about. It's about unity. 